Hey everybody, Curtis Lucina here. Today we're taking out the M1A1 Storm. Uh, this is basically just the M1A1 Abrams. Uh, you know, the Abrams being the next in line after the failure of the MBT-70 program. Uh, and then, you know, the victor of the XM1 trials. And originally the M the M1 Abrams started with the 105 millimeter gun, but understanding the need for more firepower, it got upgraded to the uh, 120 millimeter gun. And this particular one, aside from the, you know, my usual camouflage is the storm variant and it inc it includes the mine plow uh, some camouflage netting and it's basically supposed to be an amalgam of uh, an amalgam of tank uh, different tanks that have participated in operation Iraqi freedom and operation operation enduring freedom and one of my favorite things about this particular tank is let's see if somebody will let me do it nope they're not going to let me do it ah this is so hard okay so I have like 200% ramming uh, ramming uh, bonus damage and so if I just slam into an enemy tank I can cause significant damage. Boo! <laughs> the problem is, is you end up doing that at the expense of your own health. Oh, I'm never going to get a kill, am I? <laughs> eh, you just stay right there, Leclerc. But, I mean, the history on this particular one isn't much, and, like, there's no, like, oh, it, they got this from this tank and this from this tank. Uh, they mostly, when they do these kind of tanks, it's mostly based on just a lot of pictures that ended up online, and they go, well, that looked neat. I will say the camo net over the, uh, over the exhaust would almost immediately set the tank on fire. man and I'm sorry if, if I'm not as enthusiastic about this one I'm kind of having to suffer through a little bit of a lack of sleep problem right now and the like the moment I get this video uploaded I'm hopefully I'm gonna go straight to bed provided my brain allows it Yeah, I don't know what you're saying, but guy. I do wish the damage was a little higher on this thing for its somewhat lackluster reload speed.
Alright. I really only need to st steal one more kill. If I can make that work, then, you know, I'll start playing fair again. But I really want to get to five. That way I can complete my event requirements. Ooh, could you not? How was that a swing and a miss? What happened? <laughs> that was absolutely a, a steal, but... Yeah, this mission doesn't really benefit this because it's a lot of uh, defense. I just hope these guys don't mess it up again. Because all you have to do on this mission is not drive in towards the towers. They always go to the same spot, which is kind of in front of the tower I'm looking at. They kind of just pile up in the parking lot there, and then you can just shoot them to pieces. But if they see you when they're on the other side of the tower, now granted they may not hit the tower, but the shell going through the tower causes damage. Yep, there it goes. Time to kill a rosy. Time to kill a rose. Okay. Uh. Well, now who can see me? Whoa! Hey. Careful where you point that thing. You can hurt somebody. Or I'll just pop your ERA. No more engine for you. Can you not? Well, there's a lot of MBTs over here. Good heavens. I bet you I got a hit. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this roast. Oh, no. This warrior might be the last one. Oh, no, really? Must be. It's either that hero tank that always gets stuck off the edge of the hill. Like, there's an officer tank that always gets stuck off the hill. Oh. Or there's something else, like, over here that also gets stuck. The devs say they've been working... There it is. Yep. Oof. You got you good, man. No, you stay up here, buddy. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! 
<laughs> what was that? That shell hit that tank so hard it vanished. Ooh, that was pretty cool. I was in the cutscene. So, that's the storm. Uh, it's a shame you guys didn't really get to see me do a hard hit, aside from that, like, Draco at the, at the beginning. But, it really benefits, like, a... I don't even know what to call that mission. It's kind of like where it's just, your, your objective is at the end. There's one objective, it's fight your way there and take over. And the storm really shines there, because then you can just kind of literally bulldoze through the enemy, just by driving at them and slamming into them. And if you hit them just right, you'll tear their tracks off, you can break components in their tank, and then as you hit them, fire into them. Land a solid shot every time. So. Oh, we're getting there. I mean, that was 12 enemies, so. You know, made some progress on all my things. Somehow didn't get the event. I don't even... I haven't even checked what the requirements for that event are. It's probably like, need a tier 10 AFE, get 12 kills, and some other... I don't know. I'm probably not going to participate in this event, because they seem to get more and more restrictive every time, and, like, I'm already out of time. I'm, I'm not going to complete this one, so... I'm already behind. Anyway, that is the M1 Abrams... M1 A1 Abrams Storm which is M1A1 with uh, the mine, uh, mine scoops and some uh, greeblies to match some tanks that have been seen in pictures. I hope you enjoyed that, this video. Uh, if you did, please like and subscribe. Huge thank you to those that already have. And if you'd like to see a tank in battle, even if it's one I've already driven, comment down below. I will see you guys in the next fight. Till then, have fun.